What's up everyone, it's Aparicio, and today I'm gonna show you how to shop match in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple, short and sweet. Let's get right into it. Here we go, I have four shots, all right? These are shot on the Ari Amira, okay? My color management settings, this is what I have it set to. And then I just came in here and put the Ari input color space for each clip. All these clips are the same day probably but they all look a little bit different right obviously say you don't want you, you don't want it to be like that maybe this is all supposed to take place relatively close to each other and not throughout the whole entire day so let's just start with the most basic way to color match shot match we are going to find a clip our reference clip that we want each other clip to look like just to keep things clean i'm gonna pick this clip right here all right let's go through it there you go you see it it's pretty neutral a little bit warm maybe just a little bit warm um so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to you're gonna click on the clip that you want to go ahead and uh change and with this clip selected i'm going to right click on my reference clip and i'm going to click right here shot match to this clip all right, and it just pretty much tried to go ahead and shot match to this clip, okay? Is this perfect? No, uh, maybe it's a little bit on the magenta side, so I'm gonna come here to my offset, bring it towards, a little bit towards green, and then I'm going to add some more contrast to it. As you can see, we are getting a lot closer. You can go ahead and do the same thing with each of the other clips. I have this clip selected, and I'm going to right click on my reference clip that I want to color match to and I'll go here to or shot match and I'll go here and shot match to this clip and as you can see it went up so I'm gonna bring everything down to make it look a little more natural because I know they are not in the Sun like in the other clip they're in a car you can go ahead and add nodes to tweak this okay all right so now we're gonna do a little bit more of a hands-on approach right so uh, we'll use the shot as a reference again. Uh, we'll grab a still of it. So you're going to right click, click grab still, and then open up your gallery. I made an extra one. And you have it right there. And then we're going to open up this clip. And now we can click here on image wipe and just see how different these two images are. What I think I'm going to do first is increase the luminance of this right image first i mean this the left image first so i'm going to use my first node i'm just going to call it exposure i'm going to bring it up bring up my lift too all right bring down my gamma bring down those midtones she still is kind of in more shade than these people in the other picture so we don't want to raise it too high you could turn off the wipe I'm going to create another node and I'm going to call it match. Okay. Put on my image wipe again. This is where I will try to match what is happening. And then you, you're going to want to look at um, kind of what's going on in this clip here. The red is just a tad higher than the green in the blue channels. As opposed to this one, the blue is a lot higher than the green and red channel. So. So what you're gonna do is, this is one approach. You can ungang this in your curves, and then you can go ahead and click red, and bring that up. And it's bringing up the luminance as well. So we're gonna have to put that back down. And then click on your green, and the green is in a good spot. But the blue is the thing that needs to be taken down a lot. But as you can see, when we take down the blue, the green starts to kind of creep up. So we just go back and forth with it. Bring the blue down a little bit more. Actually, I'll bring the blue up. I still want this shot to look a little bit natural. Okay, and then bring it down over here in our, I don't know what happened to that, exposure. And as you can see, the relationship with the red green and blue is 
now a lot more similar in between shots. And they look a lot more cohesive and they look a lot more like they took place in the same time of day, which is could be a goal of yours. And of course, you could still keep tweaking this until it's perfect. Go up here to your image wipe. You can kind of uh, compare relationships of the red, green, and blue channels here in the parade, as you can see. And as you can see, if we switch the match node on and off, what we've done. So, and this shot match was a little bit more difficult just because of us having to uh, adjust the exposure as well, not only just the, uh, the colors. With that being said, Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe for weekly DaVinci Resolve videos. Leave your questions down in the comments. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.